Is AI smarter than human? I mean, you can literally give it any puzzle and it'll solve it in a split second. You took 47 seconds. The AI took 14. Damn. Well, to find out, I'm gonna spend the next 50 hours trying to make a puzzle so freaking hard, even AI can't beat it. Now, my first plan is to have so many different parts that the AI needs to solve that it gets so confused that it literally just gives up. So let's start off by making like a math problem, you know, like the one from the intro. But now, here comes the little twist, the little part that makes it hard for the AI. See, normally both of these objects would represent a number that you have to figure out by looking at what they equal, but we're actually gonna make one of them equal to zero. And then the triangle, four, which hopefully will make the AI miscalculate. See, I'm a little trickster, I trick the AI. I'm, I'm gonna beat that, I'm gonna beat that AI. I hate AI. And the second thing I want to add is count of squares. So it has to count how many squares there are, which with my ugly drawings will hopefully confuse the AI. And that's then gonna pass on to this last little equation here. There we go. I think this is pretty good. I don't think AI can beat this. I'm gonna be so for real. But you know, only one way to find out. Can you solve this puzzle? Let's see. Oh, it's thinking. Oh my God, this is a bunch of nerd stuff. The final answer is 12 plus. That is terrifying. The AI was correct. How could it tell with my handwriting? Well. The AI had far exceeded my expectations. It was either go big or go home if I wanted to beat this AI. So I sat there for a while and pondered, what am I missing? What could I do to just completely throw off the AI? How do I get it to be so confused it just breaks down? And that was when it hit me. Minecraft videos. Oh my god. God. Damn. See, there's this guy named Skeppy who once did these types of videos where he tested how smart Minecraft YouTubers really were. Spoiler alert, they're dumb as hell. But it wasn't the content itself that intrigued me, but rather the beautifully confusing thumbnails. Like, which store do you enter? The one that text says, the one that's green, or maybe they're both trying to trick you. And the actual answer is store number one. This is exactly what I needed to do. I needed to give the AI so many different possibilities that it literally can't pick one and just gives up. If I wasn't trying to become a YouTuber, I would make a pretty good dang suit and if I do say so myself, and I do say so. <laughs> but I knew that wasn't enough. So to make sure I would 100% beat the AI, I decided to make the entire puzzle a murder mystery story, with each chapter being a different puzzle that the AI had to solve and remember the answers to, so that in the end, it has to try and figure out who the murderer is. And if it's wrong, then we win these. Gotta make sure we don't get too cocky here now though, because if we actually lose to the AI, that would be embarrassing. Now, I already written down a little bit of the story. It goes like this. You and two of your friends just went to the haunted house that your crush named Clara lives next to. It used to be owned by the Rassy Snassy family, but they all mysteriously died about a month ago. But Clara swears she's still hearing noises coming from the house every night. So to hopefully make her like you, you gather two of your best friends and decided to give it a ganda and solve the mystery of the noises. And that's uh, that, that's pretty much the like the introduction. Now we gotta figure out the puzzles. Now I think we can literally just steal Scabby's idea with the doors. So uh, let's just create three doors. One red with an X on top of it. One green with an X on top of it. Last but not least, a red door with a check mark. And that is the correct one, because you know, has a check mark. By the way, if the AI chooses any of the other doors, the AI loses. See, there are three main rules with this entire puzzle. One, I have to give the AI at least a bare minimum amount of information that it requires to beat the puzzle. Two, I can't lie or give any false information to the AI. And three, if the AI chooses wrong or doesn't know what to do, that's that instant dub for us, baby. AKA, the AI lost. Now, once you enter the door, pretty much there's gonna be a giant hole in the floor with a sign saying, jump in. Pretty sus if I do say so myself. Now, what I'm hoping will happen here is that the AI is so stupid that it's just gonna blindly follow the sign and jump down even though the hole is so big that the AI literally cannot see the bottom of it. But it is not the correct answer. The correct answer is actually to follow the tiny little path that's on the right, which leads to the kitchen. Now, when you walk into the kitchen, you see three things. First, an oven set to 200 degrees. Second, friend one literally chained up to the table. And three, a tiny little note telling you to kill your friend and bake him to be able to solve the mystery. Now, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but both of these will actually solve the mystery. Uh, but if it chooses Freyhead, you both go outside the house where you see both Clara and friend two. This is the final puzzle. You have to figure out who was the murderer all along. And if the AI cannot figure it out, then the murderer is gonna kill all of you. So I'm kinda excited to see what the AI cooks up. Let's see what happens. <sighs> I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. Oh, what's it gonna say? Given the scenario and the image, despite the eerie setting and potential for trickery, the safest option is to go through the door with the red check mark. So I would pick the door with the red check mark, which is the third door. Correct. Let's see what it says to puzzle two. Ooh. Trusting an unknown sign in a haunted house can be risky, especially when it involves jumping into a potentially deadly hole. The safer and more cautious choice would be to explore 
explore the tiny path to the kitchen avoiding unnecessary risks i would choose to continue to the kitchen oh my god bro why is this ai so smart god this is terrifying it's it's exciting to see what it's gonna choose but at the same time so damn terrifying all right let's see it's thinking Ooh. given the dire scenario the moral and ethical choice is clear taking a life especially that of a friend is never justifiable regardless of the circumstances or potential rewards the right decision is to prioritize human life and safety over solving the mystery i would choose to free my friend using the knife on the rusty chains and leave the haunted house without figuring out the mysteries of the noises oh my god it has picked every single option correct but now it's time for the final freaking question you leave the haunted house with friend one that you just saved only to find clara and friend two standing outside friend two screams don't move there's a killer among us if we don't kill the correct person all of us except the killer are going to die it's now up to you since you have the knife to guess who the murderer is and kill them friend one claims he was hit by a metal bat as soon as he entered and woke up chained to the table this aligns with the scenario you encountered in the kitchen friend two claims the room he entered was completely empty so he went back outside and waited with clara however he could have had time to chain up friend one and then return outside to establish an alibi clara claims she was outside alone until friend two joined her and she hadn't seen what happened inside the most suspicious part is friend two's quick return outside without any obstacles or threats based on the analysis the person with the most suspicious behavior and the potential opportunity to stage the events inside is friend two i would choose to confront and kill friend two to solve the mystery and save everyone else oh my god the ai had chosen correctly on every single puzzle i'm not gonna lie i was kind of freaked out if this is what it can do with just a silly little puzzle made by a silly little youtuber imagine what it can do in the real world